Today I'm going to show you how I made the smallest 1 amp hour battery I've ever created. I first glued a strip of paper into a cylindrical oval housing, which will hold the carbon for this zinc ion battery. Next, a strip of graphite foil is slid into the center. This is the current collector. Next, I'll measure out 11 grams of coconut-based water filter carbon. 2 grams of graphite powder for conductivity. Once the ingredients are stirred, add a small amount of zinc sulfate sodium sulfate electrolyte. The mixture of this electrolyte was covered in a previous video. The mixture should be damp but not wet. Once it's thoroughly mixed, begin shoveling it into the paper housing. I'll use a pencil to pack it down very firmly. Once the housing is completely full, I'll seal up the top with hot glue. Yarn is tied around the housing tightly to ensure the ingredients are packed together. Zinc foil is all that is needed for the negative side. I'll use thick plastic mesh to space the zinc from the active material. This should stop zinc dendrites from shorting the battery. Finally, the battery is topped up with electrolyte. I'll charge the battery at 2.2 volts. You can see that the cell is pulling a substantial amount of power in. Once the battery is fully charged, I'll run a discharge at 150 milliamps. The battery appears to be holding strong. Let's see what the results were. The capacity of this battery is 1133 milliamp hours. At a lower current, the milliwatt hours would have matched this, which puts the energy density at 100 watt hours per kilogram. This is competitive with some commercial batteries at the cost of just $70 per kilowatt hour. I hope you enjoyed this video. I strongly believe that home battery making should be democratized. So please share this video if you agree. Thank you.